Yum Yum. I wish you all could have smell of vision because this really is incredible here. Welcome back to you. We're here with Chef Nick. He is a culinary professor from Lansing Community College. Good to have you with us. Thank you. Thanks for so much. And he's going to be cooking up some delicious recipes using all Michigan produce. Tell us what you got for us. We're going to utilize uh, citrus salsa utilizing the Michigan produce that's out in the farmer's markets. Uh, we need to shop local, support our local farmer's markets, and we got great fresh products like the fresh herbs, spices, mm -hmm. fruits, vegetables. So we're going to do some of that got. today. Yeah. The pans are all hot, right. I can pans tell. Are super hot. Yeah. We're going to get started here. We're going to start out by making a citrus salsa, okay. utilizing a little butter, onions, uh, jalapeno, and some fresh uh, herbs, such mm. as cilantro and a little basil. Okay. We're going to let that saute up for a minute here. Then we're going to add in some fresh mangoes. You can utilize peaches as well. We've got uh, apricot and peach mixture with some tomatoes off from the uh, local market. You're from Lansing, I know. Oh, and, and I am also from Lansing. They consider that local. It's still about an hour, hour and a half away, but locally, you really like some of the markets we have around here. Which one? Southfield has a great farmer's market. Plymouth, uh, downtown Detroit has a great farmer's market. I mean, uh, Saturday, yesterday, I came down and got a couple items just to make sure that they were from the local area because, you know, I like to promote and sponsor local areas. And it's great products, fresh products, and they taste wonderful. And they're yeah. a little cheaper than the uh, store. Yeah. Well, and that's fresher, I would think. In fresher. Some cases. Yeah. They are fresher. They smell yeah. fantastic. And you can tell through the. No, you're not kidding. <coughs> All right, so this gets cooked up. Yeah. Bill, I know you've done stories before about by, you know, by Michigan grown and, yeah. and the emphasis on yeah. that. Yeah. And I think a lot of people are feeling um, that it's important to support local farmers, local, yeah. local things in the times that we're in right now. It is yeah. very, very important, especially in the economic times. Yeah. And, um, you know, like you said before, the products are super fresh. I mean, and you've got great people at the market yesterday. The people were fantastic. They were super nice, you know. And the products, I mean, I was very impressed with the way they smelled. They're fresh. And, you know, like, I'm very particular what I use. Yeah, that is a chef. Yeah. All right, so tell us what else you put in there, Okay, right? you put in a little uh, green onion, a little bit of balsamic vinegar, uh, a little bit of sugar. Mm -hmm. Right now we're going to utilize uh, spinach. We're going to saute some spinach here with some oil. Just regular, uh, is it olive oil? Is it this, is olive, oil? this is olive oil. Okay. Yeah, we're going to take a little olive oil and make like a little uh, balsamic mixture. We've got a sauteed spinach with balsamic. Oh, look at that. Sugar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What we're doing right now is we're caramelizing the brown sugar for our spinach to help wilt the spinach. Mm. God, it just smells incredible. It's oh, my God. Well, I've been cheating over here, guys. I'm going to admit, I was trying the, the salsa because you gave us some of this, too. Um, so it's that's just salsa, absolutely yeah. incredible. You yeah. know, while you get the spinach going, mm -hmm. tell us about the meat real quick. I don't want to run out of well, time. What we've got is a tenderloin meat here. Uh, we're going to actually saute it real quick. And it gets topped with uh, a horseradish cheese you can use for hearty or uh, Munster soft cheese and uh, melt that in. Wow. And we've got a portobello mushroom that we throw in as well. And did you, the filet mignon looks pretty thin. Did you pound that? No, nope. uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a soft tender meat like filet mignon, tenderloin, stuff like that yep. you want to utilize. You can use any you know, type of steak, but the tender meat is a little nice with the cut. Yeah, filet, yeah. right. of course. Filet. Really tender. I love to grill filet. Can you do that with this? Yes, this absolutely. Yeah. Yes, real quick, a couple minutes on each side. I want me to be pointing with my fork. <laughs> mm. Okay, we're going to do a little. Watch, watch what you're doing that fork. Yeah, here. I know. We're going to do a little flambe real quick. We just don't want to scare anybody. All right, we'll get that. Yeah. And that means flames. That yep. means flames. Yep. Beautiful. Yep. Right. Always take the alcohol off the flame. Yep. Okay. Woo! Oh, Okay, that was nice, man. That just helps caramelize and sear the edges real quick and have a sweet. No, I used to work in a restaurant. The guy flambeed. He was doing bananas foster. No, true story. He had this really wild looking white hair. Oh, no. Burned his hair right off. Oh, got, no. got right over the pan. Burned it right off. And then we had to put them out with a towel. Oh, no. Moral of the story okay. there, I think, is don't try that at home, okay? Don't try that at home. <laughs> and buy local. And buy local. Buy that is the other big message we want to send. Well, thank you, Chef Nick, so much. much. Thank you so oh, much. it's all right. You need to shake hands. Everything is wonderful. Thank you. This is great. Thank I think you. you can find the rest of us on our website, wxyz.com. If not, we'll get them up there real soon for you. Thank you. All right, Jeremy, as always, I'm sorry. We'll get some food to you in a second. <laughs> <laughs> Smells real good. Only a few feet from you.